Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here today for a haul. I haven't filmed one of these in such a long time, so I'm kind of excited. These are all kind of presents. Um, these were some of my birthday presents that I didn't get right away um, and just because of life and everything. And so I didn't purchase any of these. My mom purchased all of these for me. Yes, I am spoiled. Yes, I'm an only child. Yes, this is several months worth of perfumes that she purchased for me um, because as new ones came out that she knew I was interested in, she picked up quite a few of them. At the end, I will show you all of the free gifts that I got too because there's a ton of them. I'm gonna show you one really fast though because I think it's so cute. And it's um, part of the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Neon set and it's like one of their gifts with purchase. And I think it's, a dar I think it's Darling and I'm so excited to wear them. It's a set of three scrunchies and they are so cute. They're very neon, they're velvet or velour and they, re they remind me of the 90s. Um, color wise, this was popular at one point, but also just like everything velour in the 90s. So I was very excited about that. That's one of the free gifts that I got and that kind of gives you a hint of what the first perfume is that I'm gonna talk about. So with all of these perfumes, I'm going to have them listed down below in the description box and also with all of their notes so you kind of get an idea of what they all are. This, this first one is Viva La Juicy Neon. It's the newest in the, the Juicy Couture line of Viva La Juicy. I have, I think, all of them. There's like a couple early ones and I'm that I don't have, but I think it's more like the bottle design that I don't have rather than the actual like scent. Uh, I have... I have so many Juicy Couture. I have almost every per perfume they've ever put out. I love them, they're one of my favorite houses. I would say they're probably my favorite house just because I, I've been collecting them for such a long time. Uh, this is what it looks like. The bow is kind of ombre. It has like a pink and then like almost a purple to it. It has this little um, charm on it. I know some people find this, them tacky. I think they're darling, I love, I love these bottles. Um, and it's hot pink this time it is see-through which is super nice um, because like Noir, um, Viva La Juicy Noir and uh, Rosé you can't see through them which is so annoying because I have no idea how much I have. Let's give this one a spray. I have like worn all of these at least once even if it was just like spraying it on a couple hours before bed just to kind of get an idea of what it smells like um, or before I get in the shower just in case I don't like it. Um, this smells so good. I love Viva La Juicy uh, Couture, um, or just Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. There we go. It's kind of my signature scent. It's one that I've gone through several bottles of over the years. It's one that when my best friend smells it, she's like, oh, that's Aiden's scent. And um, yeah, I, I think it's lovely. This one is a little lighter and it has like a little bit more citrus to it. It's almost like, I wanna say like a grapefruit scent. And I can't remember, I know I looked at the notes when it first came out, but I try not to let those influence me and tell you if I can smell them when I do hauls or first impressions. I, I'm so excited to wear this. I'm actually, like this is part of the reason why I wanted to film this haul now, is so that I can wear this more often. This is one that I will definitely wear to work. I can't wait. Um, it's light enough and not obtrusive enough that I can wear it while I'm teaching and it won't be overpowering or distracting to students. Unlike, you know, some of my really syrupy, really opulent fragrances like LaBelle or Scandal. I am really excited about this one. I think this one's good. I think if you like Viva La Juicy, the original, or if you like Noir, you will definitely like this one as well. I also really like Soiree. Um, yeah. I'm so excited. So that's the first one, Viva La Juicy Neon. These next two kind of go together as a set. It is Marc Jacobs uh, Daisy Spring and Daisy Oh So Fresh Spring. I collect these every year. I get every single Daisy that they do that are limited. I already have talked about Daisy Love Spring a couple times. And um, if I can remember, I will have it linked up above if I remember which video I talked about it with. But I have been super happy. I think the bottles are just so beautiful this year. I really like just the under how understated it is and just very delicate and pretty. I just I love the color green. I love the pink on it as well. 
So this is Daisy Spring. This one has a very green note to, to my nose. Uh, it smells more like the original. I feel like I'm getting a little of the Oh So Fresh Sunshine 2012 going way back. I feel like there's a little bit of that like greenness to it, but also smells very clean, almost uh, shampoo-y or like a, you know, an unscented, almost like cleanser, not something that's heavily perfumed. It's really nice. I do like this one. It's refreshing. It's really kind of, it's a little sharp, but in a good way, not in a bad way. And it's really bright and uplifting. I think this one is really nice. I like this better than some of the more recent daisies that they have done. So yeah, I think this one is good. I would say if you like the Daisy line, you should try this one for sure. Then we have the Daisy Oh So Fresh. And this one looks the same, but a bigger bottle. Has a few more colors to the flowers. This is a really nice one. I like to wear this in the evening and kind of just spray it on. It's kind of refreshing and just a little mood boosting. This one is definitely sweeter than the Daisy. It doesn't, um, I wouldn't say that the other one, that, I wouldn't say that Daisy Spring isn't sweet, but it's, it's more of a dry sweet, if that makes sense. It's very subtle sweet. It's not like a toothachingly sweet. This one is not toothachingly sweet either. It's a little bit, it's more sweet though. I really like this one too. It's it's another light type of scent, but this one feels almost aquatic in nature, just a little bit. Yeah, I really like this one as well. So we're, we're doing really good so far, which is awesome because, you know, when somebody gives you gifts, you get a little nervous if they're going to be ones that you actually like. So yeah, Daisy Oh So Fresh Spring and Daisy Spring are other also winners to me. All right, these next two are ones that she got from the Vermont Country Store. And they had a whole bunch of different perfumes. She had ordered several of them, but something went wrong with her order and they didn't pro finish processing it, um, which was weird. So some of them had sold out and she was very disappointed. So she got me a replacement instead and she totally overpaid for this because this one you can definitely get on FragranceNet for way cheaper um the other one that i'll show you is a vermont like they bought the rights for it but this is la Lique. this is the eau de parfum it's just like the original one the bottle is very pretty i will say that uh la Lique are glass blowers so they do have absolutely kind of stunning bottles some of them are way more ornate and they're like twelve hundred dollars for a bottle of perfume uh, and they go on sale frequently on Macy's. So if you ever want to spend $1,200, you can get a good deal on a bottle of Lalique. This is plastic, which was a little surprising. And it doesn't feel like a solid weighty plastic. It's, it's pretty lightweight, which I was not expecting. The sprayer was not that great, to be honest. This is pretty, but this is very, I feel like a more old fashioned traditional perfume, not a lot of the brighter, lighter scents that have come out in the past 20 years or so. It's definitely powdery. It's not overly powdery though. It kind of reminds me, this is gonna sound terrible. It reminds me a little bit the powderiness as of the Love's Baby Soft powdery like that type of a nature, but this has way more depth than Love's Baby Soft does. It's very pretty. It's definitely one that I will wear. I think it's, you know, a good everyday type of a scent. It's a little more powerful than the Daisies, uh, but definitely not as sweet or gourmand as the Viva La Juicy. It's nice. I'm hoping you get something more from the notes because Right now I'm getting like a sweet powderiness and I'm, I'm not getting as much from this as I was hoping I would get. Uh, so yeah, Lalique, it's very shiny. Like the box has the glistening to it as well. 
The other one she got is Tigress, and this is one that she talks about all the time as something that she, um, her sister had growing up, not growing up, but when they were young adults. And then there's another one by Flambeau, was the original creator of these, is what she said. So um, this one was created in 1938. It's an oriental forgere. Uh, it's supposed to have aldehydes, tonka, citrus, oak moss, vanilla, pink rose, and spicy amber. This one actually tells you things on it because it is manufactured uh, for the Vermont Country Store. It actually says that on the back, if you can read that. Hopefully it's not blurry. Um, so, aldehydes are not always my favorite. Um, I think of aldehydes and I really think of Chanel Number no. 5, which can be way overpowering. This, for, from a distance, I can already smell it. It's kind of pleasant, but it's it's pretty strong. I think this might be a little more wearable for every day than like Shalimar, but it, it's kind of reminding me of Shalimar in some ways. And I think it must be that mix of aldehydes and... Um, Tonka and vanilla, like it has a, a pretty base to it with those, but it also almost smells like kind of a peachy type scent to it. And this, if I remember right, this is not too much at the Vermont Country Store. Um, it's it's very cute. Um, it's very old fashioned, very plain. I like the bottom, like it's, you know, indented and it just, it looks cool. It looks like a pyramid down there. I don't know, that's what I'm getting from it. It's nice, I don't know how much I will wear it, but like I said, it was more like something that she remembered having um, when she was younger. So she wanted me to experience it and she would really like, if I can remember, I'll, I'll have like a thing here of what she was really hoping to get. So if you know of anybody who has one that is not like outrageously priced, let me know. Surprise, surprise, I have another Juicy Couture. This is We Splash. I do have both We and We, all the other We, the yellow We. Um, so, or not yellow, the orange. So there's one that's like pink, pink, and then there's one that's pink, orange, and this one is the blue. And uh, I've worn this one a few times too. Like I, I sprayed it and I was like, oh my goodness. I have some samples of this too, which is, very nice. Um, I always like, as I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this or to wait because a lot of the time these show up on discounters, but it's very nice. I like it. I love, all, I have so many Juicy Couture gifts with purchase, like bags and backpacks and totes and just everything. I just, I don't know. Juicy Couture is, was very like in when I was younger and I still like, and when it went to Kohl's, I was so excited because I got several pieces from the Kohl's line. This is very light. It's very aquatic. I think this is going to be an awesome summer scent or when you just want something really light and kind of comforting. I really like um, aquatic type scents. I feel like it has a melon in it. I'm getting something else and I can't place it, but very light, very aquatic, something that I will definitely like. This one actually might become one of my pillow sprays, which sounds absolutely terrible. Um, I found, I really love Giorgio Armana, Armani uh, Aqua de Joya. That's like such an awesome set to spray on my pillow before I go to sleep. And this one might be really nice too. I also like the Viva Le Juicy, um, the Rock the Rainbow. Bye Bye Blues, like that one's really nice, as well as, well as, um, what's that other one? Kate Spade, the blue, truly dazzling, I think. That one, that one I really like as well. All right, the next fragrance is Valentina, Valentina, Valentino, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Donna, Born in Roma, Yellow Dream, I was very excited about this one. I love the Donna Born in Roma. It's one that I've worn a lot. I have a backup bottle of it and I just, I love it. When this one came out, I was like, this sounds amazing as well. This is one that has pull off cap. I keep pulling off, trying to pull off 
the small sprayer, which is not a good idea. Uh, that's on my other bottle. This one doesn't play quite as well on my skin. It um, does turn a little more sharp than I would like. So I would say of all of these, this is probably, I wouldn't say it's my least favorite because I do really like it and I think I will wear it more than a couple of the other ones. But this one is very, it has a sweetness to it, but also like a sharp citrusness. But it's very much, I very much get the DNA of the Born, or Born in Roma, the original one. But this one is like more citrusy, a little bit more, I don't know. I don't think it has the black currant that the other one does. I think it's black currant. I mean, I have... I have a ridiculous amount of perfumes. It sometimes is a little hard to remember the notes for all of them. But yeah, I like this one. I think it's good. It's one, I think it's more of a summery type set. Not that you couldn't wear it year round, but it's just a little bit brighter to me and refreshing. It has more of a refreshing scent. So I still am gonna rock this this fall. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited about this one too. The final perfume before I go on to all the free grass, because there's some really cool ones. Uh, is Carolina Herrera, very good girl. Of course I had to get this one. One, because my mom collects the bottles uh, for me of the heels because she thinks they are super cute and she wants to get me all of them. And two, because I love this scent. This is so different than the original good girls. This is nothing like those. This is much brighter much sweeter much uh just more in your face i feel than like it's it's more playful it's not so much i feel like the other ones are more sultry i love this one this reminds me of delina it reminds me of angel nova it has a like lychee in it but unlike those two which i don't like on me and are i mean i won't ever buy delina because it's too expensive for my taste but also Angel Nova is one that um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna declutter because that one, I wear it, and the Gayak wood, I think that's what it's in it, it turns like straight woody on me and it just is so obnoxious and I hate the smell of it. Like I wear it and I'm just like irritated. It, there's something about it, I really hate it. Which sucks because I love the initial spray and I love it on paper, but on me, the sweet, bright, juicy, in your face playfulness does not stay. With Delina, same kind of thing, I get that incense and that's all I can smell is like that incense, that overwhelming incense, and I'm not a fan of incense. So, this one does not have either of those. It's very much in the same vein. I don't know if you already have those, if you love them, if you need this one too, but I mean, unless you want the bottle, the bottle is gorgeous. I love that there's like, it has like, the red is on the inside of the shoe, so there's almost like this clear outerness. It's just, it's so cool. I really love it. I wish that they had made the whole thing red because it's it's a little weird that they did it black, but oh well. I think it's great. It's it's one that I will, be, I'm really excited to wear. I've gotten compliments, like I went with my mom when we, bought this one and they sprayed my arm and then I saw a couple friends and they were like, that smells amazing, that's so good, I really love that scent. So yeah, this one, very good girl, I love it. So I already showed you the scrunchies, that was the first gift with purchase. Um, this one came with the Carolina Herrera, it's just a generic kind of tote bag, but it's nice and sturdy, um, it's a thicker material, like it has some heft to it, it's just, it's a nice uh, kind of utilitarian one and with a couple different handles. So that one's the first gift. Then I got this cute little like locket charm and it says, I love you on it. And it's in there. Um, I haven't figured out how to open. Oh, that opened really easily. So that's what it looks like. It's very cute. Uh, it's not like a locket or anything. It's just a little charm. I thought it was cute as well. 
Then we have a couple totes. Um, so I have this one and this one. Let me open them because they're going to be noisy. So these do match. They're both for the We Splash. We Please, that's the other one. Completely unrelated at this point. Uh, so this first one is just like a little makeup pouch. It's a really good size. Like this is a nice sized um, and it's, you know, plastic. So you can put some stuff in there that you don't, you don't have to worry if it leaks or anything. It has this cute little like zipper pull. I really like that as well. So that's the first one. The second is just a large like beach tote. It does have like a little place where you can put money or your card or, um, you know, maybe your pool, uh, your room card if you're staying in a hotel. Uh, and then it says Juicy Couture on it. It's a, it's not like a giant one, but you could throw in a few things in there and comfortably carry it to wherever you're going. We have two more things. This one is part of the um, new, like, gifts with purchase. It is the Crown Neon LED light. It is so cute. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but I think it's battery powered if I, no, it has, it has a USB charger on it or you can put in batteries. Oh, that's awesome. So you can do two different things. That's what it looks like. I think it's super cute. Um, and it was like a pinky purple type color. I don't have any batteries um, or a close enough plug-in to show you, but yeah. Uh, I'll try to take a picture and put it on Instagram though. The final gift that I got is from Marc Jacobs. It is a Daisy. I love the Marc Jacobs packaging. Like they always make things just seem really luxurious and nice. You know, you got you know, a nice box and stuff. It just, it feels more luxurious, more designer. And this is what it looks like. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at the daisies on it. It's a really big size, which is awesome uh, because, oh my gosh, and it's yellow inside. Sometimes you get makeup bags and stuff, and this is like a really nice quality. It's kind of a burlapy, but like a really refined burlap, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's it's sizable. It's like one of my favorite size of makeup bags, which I don't always get a lot of. Um, so yeah, that's it for this perfume haul. I have some ones that I bought myself um, coming up as well. So. If you haven't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It would mean so very much to me. Please make sure to leave a comment and to like the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know your thoughts on these perfumes. Have you tried any of them? Have you not tried any of them? Which ones are you looking forward to reviews on? I do have, like I've pre-filmed most of my perfume content before the semester started, just because of how crazy um, I knew the semester was going to be. And then it got even crazier than I was thinking it was going to be. So I do have a plan to do the Marc Jacobs Daisies. Um, I was going to um, do a spring line uh, review, even though it's super late in the year for that. Uh, but that's just when I got them. And then I'm also planning to do, you know, a Daisy, all the Daisy flankers and all the Daisy oh so fresh flankers. Those will be coming probably next year though. Not this year, just because of where I am with everything. Anyway, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.